What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys coming at you live and fast. You guys know the SDCC Comic Con at home is approaching very soon. It's less than a week away and I'm super excited, man. We're, we're so close to seeing all those new figure reveals and we got, you know, a little bit of insight here today on some of those figures we might see at Comic Con at home. But for now, before we get started, guys, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know, if you guys did not know, look at this tweet right here by AEW on Unrivaled. They started their own Twitter page. It says, Are you ready to relive your favorite AEW moments at home with the brand new Unrivaled collection available at Walmart this August? Hashtag AEW Dynamite. Had a really cool commercial with the talent Cody, Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, the Bucks. All of them involved in a little commercial there. And I'll pull up another picture here with all the talent in the ring. And it says, Walmart August 3rd. So these things are going to be available at your Walmart in less than a month, August 3rd. This is literally a couple weeks, a week and a half, or two and a half weeks or so away. Uh, three weeks at the most. It's kind of unbelievable that they're here, you know? I mean, we're right here. We're literally on the cusp of it. And I don't know if Ringside's going to be getting them earlier. I imagine that Ringside will probably be getting them in the next couple weeks. So if you guys went ahead and pre-ordered them, then they should be shipping probably any day now, I'd probably say. Because if they're going to be available at retail on August 3rd, they got to be hitting Ringside any day now. So definitely be staying tuned. If you guys haven't pre-ordered them yet, go pre-order them. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10% at Ringside Collectibles. And if you don't pick them up from Ringside, then check your Walmarts out August 3rd. I know for a fact I will be going on a toy hunt. We're going to go on a toy hunt at Walmart. Both of my Walmarts, we're going to go hit up both of them and we may uh, we may buy them out or something like that and do like a lot of giveaways here on the channel or something, man, because I really want to uh, get a lot of these AEW figures in here. For people that don't have a chance to get them, I do want to make them available to you guys and I also want to pick up some for the channel and fix-ups and surgery, see if we can part switch and stuff like that. So I am definitely interested, but August 3rd is the date and that is not all I wanted to, you know, not the only thing I wanted to cover in this video, but I know it'd be some big news. So August 3rd, AEW Figures Unrivaled Collection is hitting Walmart, so definitely stay tuned to your stores. I know mine probably sucks. It probably won't even hit mine on August 3rd, but you best believe I will be checking my Walmart. Both of my Walmarts at that. I'm going to check both of them because you never know. I'm going to check them both on that day on August 3rd. I'll probably wake up early AF and uh, go hit up those stores, and I'll probably toy hunt them just in case. But anyways, guys, that is not the only news we have. We also have some new WWE action figure news news because you guys know Comic-Con at home is coming soon, right? It's literally so close to us that I can taste it. We have a new post by They Are Action Figures. They're a little, uh, they're like a small business WWE, not WWE, but they sell WWE and other action figures. They sell all kinds of action figures. I think they're a little shop up in Delaware. They're called They Are Action Figures. They posted this to their Instagram page and they usually get the heads up on some of the figures we're going to be getting. So right here, guys, on the list it says Edge 2020, Drew McIntyre, Velveteen Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Michael Hayes, Sasha, and King Corbin. So this is really big, man. We already knew that we were probably going to get an Edge 2020, right? Like it's been circulating. It's been talked about. We've been thinking about it. We've been talking about it, speculating. Edge 2020, we know we're going to get at least one. I expect to see the Royal Rumble return gear in at least a prototype, probably a full rendered image as well at Comic-Con at home when they reveal all the figures to us. Apparently, we're getting tons of new images, tons of new figures because they put it in their tweet from the other day. Stay tuned to Comic Con at home for the Mattel booth on the you know on July 23rd because they are going to be showing us. Uh, all, all those things. And it said tons. It said tons. So I'm, I'm ready to get into it, man. So Edge 2020, we already knew. Hopefully, we not only get the Royal Rumble return gear, but we also get the WrestleMania 36 gear. And if we don't get that, I would love to see Backlash in that black, green, and red that we talked about before. And I hope that they change up his part selection because I think that they deserve, you know, Edge deserves to have that ripped up torso, at least a version of the ripped up torso since he did get such in shape. He's, he's been, he said it himself that he's in the best shape of his life or at the moment he returned. So I think they should replicate that in the figure, giving him a, a cut up mold and not the Daniel Bryan torso. So hopefully that is possible. Next up, we have Drew McIntyre. We talked about Drew McIntyre before. His figure goes for ridiculous prices, like $70 to $100 mock for his elite figure. Sometimes loose, it can go upwards of 80. So that's kind of crazy. So hopefully we get a brand new Drew McIntyre here and, and this elite collection photo is legitimate. I think it is. I think they are action figures has been very accurate when talking about WWE figures before. So hopefully this, you know, follows the same road as that. But Drew McIntyre is a great figure. Can't wait to see what, you know, figure it is. I, I would guess it'd be Royal Rumble, right? It would have to be Royal Rumble because, uh, you know, Edge is Royal Rumble. So maybe that'll follow. He was the Royal Rumble winner. 
it just makes the most sense. That purple attire would be really cool. Velveteen Dream is another guy, you know, I really don't care what attire it is. I would like for it to be a cool attire, but they're probably going to give him a jacked up torso again, which I don't really care for fixing, especially since Velveteen Dream hasn't been on TV. You know, he had those allegations. He's not in the pick fed. So I guess whatever we get a Velveteen Dream will be cool. I'll review it for you guys, but I'm not that interested in another Velveteen Dream, but I am interested to see, you know, what attire they give us. So that'll be cool to see, I guess. Next up is Dusty Rhodes. Now, Dusty Rhodes, we haven't seen since Elite 63. And then we did have a Legends figure back in the day. And then we also had a, an Elite Dusty Rhodes that came with the WCW basic ring. So this could be cool. Maybe it'll be a re-release of the Legends figure in the polka dot attire with the headband and everything. That would be a really cool release. Maybe they'll get a re-release of that figure in here. We'll just have to see about that one as well. But Dusty Rhodes is a really big one. I think that's a cool release. Michael Hayes, somebody we've never seen in WWE Mattel figure form. That is a really cool one. I love it when they give us guys like that. That is somebody that we have not seen before from Mattel. So I think that's a really important release. I know a lot of flashback guys are going to be super happy for that one. And I will definitely add Michael Hayes to my collection. So that is a really big release. Really excited for that one. Next up, we have a women's figure that I think everyone's excited for. You know, I don't know if this is going to be that ringside exclusive that we've been seeing over and over again since we saw the render image. Is this what that's going to be? I'm not sure. But, you know, it would be cool to see uh, the ringside exclusive pushed into another wave. Like I said, it probably would be. Probably main elite line because you guys know they like to give us one or two women per wave and uh, that would fit perfectly. Trying to update our rosters. Trying to get, you know, the double jointed knees for the women's figures back into our collections to replace their older figures. So I think Sasha Banks is perfect for that role right there. And then, of of course, everyone's favorite, King Trash Corbin. I'm guessing it's going to come with the crown, with the cape, with the freaking scepter or whatever that thing's called. And it's going to come with a bald head Trash Corbin. You know it to be true, guys. I mean, it's it's going to happen. It's inevitable. We're getting a King Trash Corbin. You know, it is what it is. I, I'll i never replace mine. My, my Trash Corbin is here to stay with the half torso, half trash can. I will definitely be keeping that in my collection. But I will pick it up to review for you guys if you, if you want to update your King Corbin. There you go. I'll, I'll definitely pick it up for you guys to review. But King Trash Corbin is staying in my collection the way he is. Now, as far as some other new releases, I'm hyped for this whole list. I think this is a really good list right here. Maybe besides Velveteen Dream, just because I'm not exactly sure where he stands at this moment. But next up, guys, we have a couple of battle packs right here. The bottom right corner or the right side, you can see it says WWE Stone Cold Steve Austin and AJ Styles Basic Series 67 Action Figure 2 Pack October 2020. This is a battle pack that I'm sure will be fantasy attire or, so, or not fantasy attire, but fantasy matchups. I'm guessing we'll get a Stone Cold Steve Austin and an AJ Styles. Hopefully, to Jesus Christ we get a new Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt because I feel like we've had the same one forever. It's either the smiley one or it's the pissed off one. We need a new Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt. Hopefully we get that one in this one. True effects looking good. I know we also have the basic 100. I'm not forgetting about that one but it's either you know it's one of those three and I think that they either need to shrink the basic 100 which is probably what this will be or they need to give us a brand new one because it's been a while since we got a brand new Stone Cold Steve Austin one. Um, but that is a uh, little fantasy matchup battle pack is what I'm guessing because when have we ever seen Stone Cold and AJ Styles together unless it's from his podcast I think AJ Styles was on there before I don't know I doubt that would happen so that is probably going to be a fantasy matchup uh, battle pack series and I'm, I'm interested to see who else is in the set because the one on the left is from uh, the Extreme Rules Battle Packs with Roman Reigns and Undertaker from that pay-per-view. And then we have another uh, two-pack right here, which I don't think is in the same set. You guys can see on the left, we've already covered this, but the Goldberg and Bret Hart Elite two-pack October 2020, that's going to be a WCW two-pack, which will be really cool. I think it's supposed to come with the WCW United States Championship, so that'll be a new championship we get. But on the right, it says WWE Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston Basic Series 67 Action Figure two-pack October 2020, so I'm guessing it's going to be, like, that doesn't make sense to me. So, Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston isn't a fantasy match because we've seen it before. But Stone Cold Steve Austin and AJ Styles, I don't remember them being in the ring together. Like, was that a thing? Am I missing something? I I'm sure somebody will let me know if they were together in the ring on WWE TV or something. But that is, that's pretty much it. We're going to get Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston. And then I'm sure there will be one more battle pack in that set. We just got to find out what it is. But that is all the WWE action figure news and AEW figure news that I have for you guys. Again, AEW figures are hitting Walmart this August, August 3rd. So stay tuned to your Walmarts. If you do want to pre-order them, you don't think your Walmart's going to get them, you, you want to put in your pre-order, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS, save yourselves 10%, and uh, go ahead and order all those figures because I don't think you're going to want to miss these. I can't wait to get them in hand. They're going to be awesome, and I can't wait to put up reviews for you guys. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much 
much for watching. August 3rd, AEW Comic Con coming up next week for WWE figure reveals and AEW figure reveals. So it's going to be a, a lit week, man. We, we got tons of stuff coming. I can't wait. Extreme Rules this weekend. Plenty of stuff to get excited about. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.